Hey, welcome to this tutorial on Nuclear. Today we'll be talking about how to install and run Nuclear on Windows. Windows 10 in this case. Because we're running on a virtual machine, we only need the, we can only do it via DirectX, which is very s simple, but it's how we're going to do. We're not going to use OpenGL in this tutorial because it's not supported. Okay, so first let's talk about dependencies. What depends, dependencies do we need? We need Visual Studio. We need to install Visual Studio. Because we're going to need the command line compiler, we don't need the integrated development environment, but we need the command line of Visual Studio. And then we, we're going to download Git for Windows, okay, so... And here we get for Windows, we've already done the download, so we don't need, we don't need to do it again. Git is a very fairly com cumbersome process to install it on Windows, there's a lot of options, but if you stick with the standard options, we, you should be fine. Okay, and then we're gonna use um, nuclear, so get it from GitHub. So we gonna co copy the link, and we can open uh, Git Bash, uh, so we can clone the repository for Windows. We get we do a git clone, and then type in this address, and then let's see, um, yeah. Um, so uh, we do a less and it's there okay cool so now let's open the command line official studio so just go on the start menu and then type dev should come up with, once you have visual studio in this case 2019 installed you should come up with this uh, developer command prompt this is basically the compiler for visual studio so it's like a well sorry running a gcc in a terminal okay so now we go here and we we have to get the um, we have to have the path of the nuclear installation so we go here on the nuclear folder we just cloned and copy paste the path since we're running it bash it downloads to this directory so we get the path here of the git clone and then we go here and we type in um, CD and then the I paste the path. Okay, there we go. So we're looking now. So we can go on the folder demo. Okay, let's see what's inside this folder demo. We have uh, our rendering backend there D3, D11, DirectX 11. So um, we go here and we type in Direct3D, by the way. You type in CD D3 D11, right? And then inside this folder we have a bat file, which is a batch file for Windows, a main, and then the rendering, backend files, and the, the shaders. Okay, so we're gonna go for we're gonna build the application, and hopefully this will build uh, this will build nuclear for Windows. We'll just wait a few moments. And it should be fine. Uh, okay, so let's see if the executable is there. So the executable file is our demo executable, so it's there. So we just run it now. Demo.x and boom, voila! You have nuclear running on Windows. I have here button pressed. So quite cool. You have nuclear running on Windows. So don't forget to install these three things: Visual Studio, Git. Uh, Git for Windows, or I just Git, well basically, and then uh, copy Nuclear. If you don't know where the installation folder is of Nuclear, when you run Git Bash, when you run Git Bash, let's, let's go, Git Bash. If you if you don't know where the, where the Nuclear was cloned, you run Git Bash. It was this folder here, a home folder for the Git Bash. Just type in pwd. Okay, you should tell C users, yeah, C folder users, and then three, five, whatever, or whatever folder it is installed. So do that. Okay, without further ado, I have to thank you uh, for watching the videos and um, remind that uh, we are now offering a workshop on nuclear, introduction to nuclear. Basically, we're going to go through installation, through how to create basic interfaces with using nuclear. So uh, thank you so much, and um, bye.